Um, <laughs> thank you very much, Eliod. Thank you very, very much for the two months in a row. Is that Eliod of Bretonian fame in Blood Bowl? Is, is Eliod... Is that Elliot with top breaths? Was it? Or am I or am I being stupid? But um thank you anyway. <laughs> uh Yeah, see this is pretty bad having a babe instead of instead of fucking two skills. Like that was the bad thing about his concession, wasn't it? If he hadn't conceded, would have had two skills probably. Probably a skill beast and a skill warrior. And instead it's a babe. Jerbe, I'm no Jerbe. He's, he's not bad, is he? He's got three, but see, he's got two skill ups. Sure runs in a block. He's got Jerry. Oh, it's Tom and Jerry. I was thinking of Jerry from, uh, from, what's it called? Walking Dead. Count Von Count, count me in. You shall count to three. I wish he'd only counted to two. Both one and all. can be both Elliot and you being stupid. They are not mutually exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tony. <laughs> yeah, I can print more birds now. <laughs> Pantheon of birds. <laughs> nah, no, <well>, that's good. <laughs> I mean, I can be stupid. That's that's certainly uh, yeah, that's certainly a, a fucking possibility. That possibility never dies. Do you, know what, do you know what happened? Unbelievably, this is this is exciting. If you if you <laughs> if you know anything about Pokemon, I was playing Ultra Moon, and uh, I was on my way to the uh, the Elite Four to battle the Elite Four, and um, I almost want to kick, don't I? Because vampires are a bit shit on offense. And they're pretty threatening on de on on defense. They're actually more threatening on defense than they are on offense, aren't they? If I can kick it to him, and I could turn him over and stuff. Might be a good idea. And then I'd know what I could do on offense. Carry it with a warrior at least. But I've only got eleven players, and he's got reserves. I think I'm going to kick in and see what happens. Can't really use this setup because he'll, uh. He already can't say if he hasn't got Frenzy. Wow, this is really annoying, this fighting for opponent all the fucking time. Uh. So. Um, as, as I was trying to say about this. I was on my way to the Pokemon League to fight the Elite Four, and the Crosma, the, uh, the the legendary of of the new game, the game's legendary is there, right? So I think, ah, oh, I haven't got I haven't got a fucking synchronized Pokemon for it. So what I'll do is, um, I'll save my game, and then I'll just you know see if I can catch him here, you know, just for fun. So I saved my game, and then I went there and I caught him with a quick ball first first throw. Because you know I, the the quick ball is the only poker ball to use ever anyway, right? So I I throw my quick ball, randomly catch him, and then he's randomly jolly, and I was like, holy shit, how lucky can you get? Classic story. So I I uh, there you go. It was pretty lucky because there's only there was a one in like a one in twenty chance, no more. How many how many natures are there in, in Pokemon? Twenty-four? Are there twenty-four natures? Are there thirty natures? Are there twenty-five natures? How many natures are there? Twenty-five. It must be twenty-five. It's twenty-five natures. So it was a one in twenty-five chance of getting the one that I wanted. Instead of a fifty percent chance, if I if I if I do, I was I was going to catch him, see if I got him, and then uh, and then I would you know if if I could catch him, then I would be like I would then load it up and then try and see if I could not catch him, and then 
<laughs> 24 natures and 8 wild cards. Is that pretty much what it is, Freak. It's 20 natures and 5 wild cards, isn't it? That's what it is. There's 25, there's 25 natures. And uh, so, you know, if I'd got, a, if I'd, if I didn't have to catch him, I would have, uh, I would have waited for a, a synchronized Pokemon, so I had a 50% chance, but instead I got a 1 in 25%, a 4% chance. Oh, there you go. Warrior on the LOS. Never put warriors on the LOS, people. It's, uh, it's a really dumb thing to do. And the only reason he's there is because I left him there. <laughs> After the Brett games and didn't move him. Oh shit! What a fucking idiot! What an absolute fucking idiot! <sighs> Do you take agility six? Well, Nightwind Blood Bowl. Um, agility six is actually really good. It is very bloaty, but it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Not like this. <laughs> not not like this. <laughs> they didn't say Mr. Throw, did they? Well, thank you very much, just Joe. Six, four months. Glorious. Thank you very much for staying fantastic. And uh, why was that a mistake? Thirteen gods. Oh, because they're playing it first. <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty Jim Sharp that, wasn't it? Eh? Fucking first blocks of cards. Fails the pickup, so I could I could jam jam him with men. Um somewhat intelligently. That seems like not a bad thing to do. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Not ideal, is it? Oh, Christmas present. Yeah, get it. I've just, just worked it out. I didn't work it out. Got it spelled out to me. <laughs> It is, isn't it, J5? Oh, yeah, I need to do the sponsor and Batman. Oh, man. Sponsor and Batman. I'll write it down. I like how I write it down every single day and never do it. Oh, he's got a lot of rerolls, hasn't he? Oh, we both got a reroll. Oh, God, fuck me. What, did he just stick his fingers up at me? That was a pretty good animation. Give up a block, get killed. Don't give up blocks you don't have to, kids. There's another pro tip for you. Fuck me. Good. Hope your opponent rolls double skulls. Oh, that's pretty good. Could move someone in here and then chain him to there. It doesn't really achieve anything, though, does it? No. This is a very costly man's manzing strategy so far, isn't it?
Jim Shard, 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 Jim Shard. Thanks, last frog man. Newberger sucks. Yeah, pretty special, isn't it? This is really risky if this is a push, isn't it? Which makes me want to put somebody in there. But then I also want to blitz up here or in here or something. Maybe he just blitzes him, follows, and then he just wall him off. I guess that's the way to maximize blocks, isn't it? Which is the name of the game. Don't need to base the ball, do I? Oh, it was a great turn of stuns, wasn't it? Obviously a little bit sad to make three stuns and not a removal, but still, three stuns is still very good, isn't it? Um, so what's his play here, then? He hands off to him or passes to him or something. If he goes in the way a bit. And it makes things a little bit more complicated. But mostly he's going to block him. And he's going to blitz or something. Maybe just keep him back. He could block him. He could go three, four, five, six. Double GFI handoff. So then he's based. And then he could go something. Hmm. He's, he's kind of all right where he is, isn't he? He's making a screen. He's back. I think he's okay where he is. Blocked with a vampire. Well, I don't know what his play is now then. Concede maybe? I'll make a screen. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. I guess he couldn't have done that if I'd pushed forward with him, but I was more scared of the potato really. Can still run around the outside here maybe. was a huge turn of stones. Maybe I should have pressed more. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI, GFI. A good one dice there. And if it's a power, it's good. I could just two dice. Two dice, blitz, base, keep occupied.
Nice pal. Let's just hope to base those two guys. And base the ball. Success. The dream is alive. Oh, fuck. I don't need a push. Can't afford to greed it, I don't think. I mean, that's the thing, isn't it? Basing is, uh, yeah, this is a sweeper, yeah. But only one, which isn't good against strength four vampires, is it? But, um, yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, it's shit because you kind of got to base them a bit, haven't you? Because you want to make them roll dice because they've got they haven't got dodge at this point on the vamps, and they've got bloodlust and the thralls are armor seven. So like, getting them to roll dice is pretty good, even though they've got plenty of rerolls. Just because the more dice they roll, they have to roll in a turn, the more chance they fail in a turn, isn't it? But unfortunately, the basing has just got me outbashed to death, taking two cards to one KO. Yeah, it's the Banana Men kit, isn't it? Banana Men vampire kit. Kept the ball safe pretty well, to be fair. Maybe I should have pushed forward that turn. Maybe I should have pushed that guy. That was meant forward. Maybe I should have gone for the two dice in the ball then. Jimmy, he will have no problem beating this team. That coach has more than the optimal amount of vampires. He was <laughs> doomed before kickoff. No oh, shit. <laughs> Not anymore, Tony. I fucked myself. Well, it's a point of debate, Flake and Wrath. I mean, there's, there's pluses and minuses for it, obviously. I think I've got to sacrifice the sweeper here to make sure there's not an easy breakthrough there. Here. Getting banged on though. I guess we both lost two now. No, if no, he's, he's been rolling pretty well, but he still used two re rolls. He has been rolling pretty well. I made him roll a lot of dice and he's rolled pretty well, so that's. You could argue that's a little bit unlucky. Obviously, being out by two cards to two KOs, inflicted two KOs and armor, armor seven and eight, and he's inflicted two cards, armor eight and nine. 
But he has got to make more blocks. And he's rolled a lot of dice though, obviously. He's got his hot potato action going on. He's finally filled the dice roll and but he's made safe moves first, so it's not that critical, is it? Oh, I'd been tempted to keep that if I was him. I believe. Herb derp base 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 first of all. Right, this is most important to hit, isn't it? On the van. Get a massive push. So happy. Good for me. Good job I didn't greet it. I don't think you can when you're doing a block. So at the moment it's not that easy for him. I have to make this block, unfortunately, and I think I have to have him as cover for all of this. I just have to make this block, as risky as it is. Good lad. I have to keep him based up as well. Right, so he's a danger to three plus out. He can't do too much. He guess he could blitz and then hand off or something. He could gaze him or block him. He could dodge, then he could two dice block, then he could dodge blitz, and then he could run through hand off. So maybe it is a good idea to uh, to like keep him double based here. Well, it gives him an easier. And he, he can fucking, what, three plus blitz now and, and then sideline cage, I guess. That's his play. I've given him a surf, I guess, by doing that. But still, it's a three plus. Yeah. And I did give him that. But now it means he's got to dodge the ball carrier. And it was a two plus, it was a two plus for the blood bust and a three plus for the thing. But he can sideline cage it, can't he? That's the thing. He's got a good payoff now. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. But. The critical dodge was forced. Thanks to his greedy surf. He should have consulted the sheet, which would have said, don't make that surf. And uh, he would have been all right. But he didn't. Maybe he doesn't even have a sheet like that. But he fucking should have. Uh... Man, I just want to fucking get it and go, don't I? Maybe block with him, and then then I can blitz with him if it's a power. It's not a power. Could blitz and mark. Jimmy, I like that all your Blood Bowl advice fits on one sheet of paper. 
<laughs> yeah, it's good, isn't it? Thanks, Tony. <laughs> that was beginning. Yeah, that was that was good, wasn't it? That was a good fit. I mean, I just want to get it in run. Fuck it, let's go. I can just blitz with him himself, can't I? So put him there. Blitz, what if it's a if it's a pal and get to follow and then assist this block? One, two, three, four, five, six. So if this blitz is a pal, it's really good, isn't it? If it's a push, then it's looking less good. He could block there, and then a push would still get us around, if this is a power. Towards the burn cream fund to recover from Tony's cheer. Ah. Well, that wasn't great, was it? <laughs> that was a disappointing double score. Thanks, Onani. 25 years. It's not even 10 rules, it's like 3. Uh, well, 5 actually. It's five, there's five things. Don't roll double skulls with that guy, it was a pretty big one. Maybe I shouldn't have made that block. I was thinking as I made it, a double skull here is not very good. Fucking prick. Makes all his dice rolls, doesn't he? Alright, at least he didn't make that one. Use his first gaze on turn seven. Not bad. I was so shit. There were so many fucking so many fucking blocks were like pushes and stuff that made things difficult. Now all I can do is a four plus, four plus dodge into a two dice block, isn't it? Literally the only play. I don't want to make the two dice first in case it's a one in nine. So. Couldn't get a pal. Didn't roll a trip wire. Unbelievable. Whew. Sextus bones. Fucking made paid a heavy price though. Apple gone. And a dead beast. Oh. 
but at least I know that I can score quickly now and kill the game at 2-0. So I can just be a shit human team in the second half. Take so long to move these fucking people. <laughs> um, because Haggis McMuffin. The ladder resets every six weeks, so you've got to just start a new team every six weeks. And Chaos get a wild card in this format, and are good. It is a bit boring, yeah. I know, I know. It's, I'm not, I'm not that happy about having to go Chaos, but they're the best team, aren't they? <laughs> they're just the best team. Thanks, Pedro. <laughs> VIP Pedro Jack. <laughs> He's rolled pretty well, actually. But, um. I put the pressure on, didn't I? He didn't have a. Like, I got, I, the three stun turn was, was huge, actually. I thought he'd a potato then. I think it was right to potato then. Um, obviously, it's easy to say that now. God, I'll bash to fucking death by fucking by fucking vamps, man. Maybe I should have received. I guess I can still get a draw here. Maybe it's going to be hard, though, isn't it? Wood Elves are the best team, true, but Chaos are my favourite team. <laughs> Yeah, that doesn't mean anything though, does it, Zagini? That, like the thing is, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't mean anything. The stats don't really mean anything, do they? Um, no, I'm not interested in Nurgle, and the reason that I'm not interested in Nurgle is, Shawnee is using Nurgle, so it's just stupid to use Nurgle. I don't need an assist, do I? I'm a beast man. But even then, all the stats show is what everybody, how everybody does with them, doesn't it? You know? Um, so like, do you know what I mean? It doesn't really matter, does it? Oh yes, see, at least he stayed, at least he stayed uh, KO'd. Okay, so the least thought required, the least thought of the good teams. Also, it means if you're one of the chaos teams, then then, then there's less chaos teams in the competition that you have to beat <laughs> in the in the top thirty-two. And they're just they're, they're good because the you know in every in every uh, in every fucking tournament. Uh, I mean, he's, he's managed to stay out anyway, and he got a guy KO'd as well, uh, sent off. So has he got three? Six, nine, he's still got 11, fuck's sake. Nine versus 11. Outbashed heavily by vamps. Um, let's see who can, who can score a touchdown. I guess it makes sense to be Sexter's Bones. At least he's settled quite far back and he's only got two vamps. But it's going to be tough to protect the ball, isn't it? I'm not even going to care about scoring this half. Just try to protect the ball somehow.
Yeah. But even then, like, the, the stats just don't matter. The, the stats, what, what, you know, it's, it's, the stats don't tell you what gives the best play, the best coach a better chance of winning the champs ladder playoffs. <laughs> now, obviously, Wood Elves do have a great chance if they survive intact, which they have done miraculously for an arena a few times. But what happens in high TV games is stuff like mighty blow and shit happens. And in every game, one team is the hammer and one team is the nail, basically. And there's one for the three dice there to make. I know I was giving up a blitz, but I've got to protect the ball, haven't I? Um, in every game at high TV, one team is the hammer and one team is the nail, and nobody wants to be fucking. No one, no one wants to get hammered. And if if you're trying to win a tournament. You know, you just don't want to take that attrition. Um, if you don't have to, do you? So, like, they, they've just... Because they're because the Chaos are the team that are usually banging people, um, they're, you know, they're, they therefore get banged less, don't they? That's the thing. Yeah, exactly. Plus, it's best for me specifically. Yeah, exactly, Sean. It's like the stats don't really mean much, do they? If the stats say that Wood Elves win more than Chaos, but you just like playing Chaos more, then you're better off playing Chaos, aren't you? Exactly, a crazy Lima, yeah. Jimmy Nail, <laughs> very good. Yeah, Dark Elves, Dark Elves are good at beating bad players, aren't they? That's the thing. Dark Elves are really good at beating poor coaches, which is why I really liked them in the old days of the ladder, when everybody was fucking terrible. Um, and they got the, the you know, they got to the opposition everybody and stuff. And they are the bashiest elves, yeah. Elves inherently are strong, and they are the bashiest elves, yeah. Glad he made that dodge, he didn't have to. Could just left him down. Lucky that he didn't get killed really. Right. How far away are his vamps? Push in one other block, looks good to me. Oh, another push. Great. Right, now he's finally moving forward. But hopefully that will... <laughs> that will help me move my nine players into his eleven. Like, you know, he'll take one of them out, isn't it? That was, that was the plan. By let me... Eventually just waiting. Then he'll commit somewhere. And when he does commit somewhere, I can go the other way. Looks like he's not committing yet though, actually. Looks like a pretend commit. I love Freedom FTW. No, I think, I think, even though I think Necros are like one of the best races, if not the best race in Blood Bowl 2. I never really like using them. I just don't fancy that much. He likes these dodge outs, doesn't he? I mean, he usually makes them because obviously you usually do. <laughs> but um, still, didn't have to. I'm only really scared of the vamps, and they're still not in range. So we take the guy who's furthest forward. What if I fail? I'm fucked if I fail that.
minus seven remains invincible. Um, should make it hard for him to make one hit and get oh ended turn instead of moving I was gonna move him. I didn't even fucking move the carrier. Oh my fucking god. That was a good misclick wasn't it? End the turn by accident. Fucking hell. I was gonna move him over and just didn't move him. Wow. I often do that, I make moves in my head. And then just don't move them on the pitch. Oh, well, that's put us in a right fucking lot of trouble. Instead of him just being like here or something. And quite safe. Like he just he just traded blows for f for four turns, which when I'm two players down, I quite like that. And he's only just basing now. Yeah, I'm probably fucked now. After all that, the fucking misclick on him means that I don't get a blitz this turn. Disappointing, isn't it? To say the least. God, one day I'll knock somebody over. Of course the first dodge I make in the entire match fails. Oh no, there was the 4 plus to score. Alright, well apart from that one, the second dodge of the entire match fails. After he's been dodging all of his LOS guys out every fucking turn. Fuck's sake. He's made so many dodges this game. Second dodge fails. Don't misclick is unfortunately some, not something you control, is it? But yeah, the, the moves in the heads, make sure you actually do the moves. Double double check. Um, board position, I guess. The draw will be alright now. I mean, it got so outbashed in the first half and it was ridiculous, so I think that misclick was a, was a bit annoying, but still.
See, he, he, he does this, makes all of them, because of course he does. He just doesn't fail dodges. It's fucking annoying. Just <laughs> roll some dice. And <laughs> it'll work. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Um... Yeah, not easy, is it? I can blitz him. And then have somebody to stand near there. And then block, 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 block. So I've got to make dodges, I don't know now. Need, really need to power this guy. Good. Yeah, that's a good move. Yeah, of course I can't fucking make one dodge. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Could uphill push him and then surf him. <laughs> to get him in there, even though it doesn't do a lot. Holy shit, worked. Oh man, the, the uphill block without a reroll. <laughs> it seems incredibly dumb. Would have worked as well. And the one dice would have been a push. I would have totally got him. <laughs> oh shit. Now he's got a vampire so he scores. Did you just take the push instead of the pal? Oh yeah, I did because I was thinking I was surfing him. <sighs> I'm shot to shit now, to be honest. That was talking during my turn. If I hadn't been talking, while I was, while I was saying, I was thinking that. See, I was like, I just said, "There's the push that I needed for the surf," and then that's why I took it. You know? Fuck's sake. It's hard. It is hard streaming. It is hard. It is hard. I, I might try just not speaking at all during my turn. Maybe that's the way to do it. Fuck's sake. And now this is a two dice block as well because he wasn't powered. Fucking hell. I lost, oh well, I haven't lost, but drawn. It's easy when we get two dice on the ball here. Oh wow, he fucked it. Jimmy, don't worry, I'm sure you have put your opponent on tilt with your less than optimal play. I'm sure he's using every ounce of strength trying to figure out what you are up to. Wow, you got the ball down, didn't get the push? I don't think you should have done that. I think you should have just blocked there with the assist. And then, uh, you know, made this block, followed. And then he could have two diced with the uh, throw. So not perfect dice for him. 
unbelievable. Of course, it was the vamp with fucking block that rolled the uh, both down. But never mind. And now he shouldn't have even been able to make this block. Because he should have been powered. Fuck's sake. He's got your hands! Fuck off! Oh wow, he didn't, uh, he didn't just try to score. What the fuck? I guess he knows that I can't possibly make a fucking 3 plus dodge. Oh, I've got to do save moves first, haven't I? Made the dodge. I guess I'll let him roll dice, eh? <sighs> yeah, he, he absolutely should have scored. It was one square in, he was here. It was just a dodge. Two, three, four, five, six. It was just a three plus two plus to score. It was crazy he didn't take that. I think. Crazy to not take a three plus two plus without a reroll. Not when it was just a three plus for me to sack him. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Fuck off. <sighs> Man. Every time. It's not even... It's not even worthy of fucking commenting on it, is it? GFI, all right then, let's go. Absolutely fucking standard, isn't it? There's nothing more standard than getting beaten up by fucking vampires and then double warning is after the perfect throw and he catches it in a tackle zone. 
<laughs> and double one the fucking fucking hell man what an absolute joke Ooh, double. Fucking draw against fucking vamps. Holy shit. Oh well. Robbed. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.